Jewellery and watches is a, a must-do on our calendar. Every year, been going for the last 20 years. I uh, really look forward to it. It kicks off our buying season to a really good start. Absolutely love it. Story of Marmalade. Marmalade was born when I was still at school. We started selling silver jewellery at Camden Market. Um, my mum's business, as it was then, then she expanded into four silver retail shops. And when I um, graduated, went back to work, my wife and I bought the business in 2005 when they retired. We went in, we reskilled, retrained, went into fine diamond bespoke jewellery um, and have been moving forward in that way ever since. USP at Marmalade, I would have to say, is doing what we do really well every single time on time. We try and keep a sense of fun at what we do, but making it so professional, making beautiful things um, and making sure our clients are always happy. What I really love most about retail is the fact that it's so instant. You decide to buy something, then you can sell it. Or you decide to change something in the morning, and by lunchtime, you're selling it again, or differently, or better. And it's every decision you make has an immediate impact. And you know, we sell pretty things to happy people. What's wrong with that? The first year in business is always tough. You've got to learn really quickly. You've got to keep your promises. You've got to deliver on time. You've got to keep having fun. Um, got to keep everyone paid, got to keep everyone happy. So the key ingredient to our success would have to be having the right people around us. We've got a fantastic team. My wife is absolutely amazing at merchandising and designing and making the shop look fantastic. Uh, we spend a lot of time and money on our team and their training so that they are the best in the business. So our proudest moment was probably winning the Independent Retailer of the Year Award in 2007. Um, that was an absolute game changer for us. It gave us confidence, it gave us credibility, uh, it gave us a real springboard to push the business forward. Independent retailers are facing really challenging times in the next five years. Um, people online, online traders are getting so much better. The technology is advancing so quickly that it's vital that independent jewellers understand or try and, and can persuade people that it's it's better and more worthy to go into a store, get experience, get the knowledge, get the understanding and the communication with a trained jewellery professional, someone that can physically make or assist or design or tweak or change or repair your jewellery that you can't get watching Netflix, sat at home on the couch, ordering your Christmas presents on Amazon. I think independent retail jewellers need to work together and share knowledge, share information, share resource in order that their business becomes stronger. We have a scheme at the NAJ where we can network and, and use the shared knowledge of independent retailers for the benefit of all. And everyone I know that's involved in a jewellery network has a benefit. And if you can take that benefit and make your business stronger, why wouldn't you? So what we're looking forward to at Jewellery & Watch is, as ever, there's the catwalk, there's the international exhibitors, there's the, the kickstart to all the new buying trends. Um, we're looking forward to seeing who's, who's doing what, how the businesses are doing. Um, and like I said, it's, it's, the, it's the kickstart to the buying year um, and we, we love it.